Marta, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm good, teacher. And you? I'm here just fine, just fine, you know. A good day. Excellent. And tell me, how was your day? My day it was a very easy teacher. Really? No, yes, because many things to do for the close of month. Oh, really? Would you yes. mind telling me one of the things that you did today in detail? Uh, yeah, in the morning, I, I received some calls. Uh, it's about many problems with the system. So I, I can see the cases are resolved um, and answer about the situation or help them. So in to the help them. afternoon to, to help to, them. To help them. And we don't say resolve, we say solve. Ah, okay. Okay. Solve. Sorry. In the afternoon, same story, teacher. <laughs> the same story? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But well. I'm here ready for the class. That's great. That's actually excellent. And tell me, well, it's the end of the month. So when do you finish actually with the closing? Is it over or you still have things to do, stuff to perform related to it? Yes, for uh, general, uh, is the next week, the close month. Uh -huh. So next week. So that means that you are working right now in the close. Yes, yes. Uh, this this week is about the close of month because it's uh, many many things for close and many system is is complicated. Oh really? Yes. Well, but the good thing is that it's not something new. How long have you been working for your company, Marta? I have in my company about four years. You've been in the company for four years? Yes. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. So for four years, wow. And have you stayed in the same area all the time? Excuse me, teacher? Have you stayed in the same area or you have moved? To yes, the area? In, this, in the same area. It's interesting. That's quite interesting. So you got a lot of experience in there. Yes. Okay, well. Nice, thank you. Nice talking to you, Marta. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Hey, Shanita. Hello. Hey, teacher. How are How's you? How's going? Ah, here, well, same old, I'm, same old I'm story. Here. <laughs> nice. Well, and I'm here, ready for the class. My day was very busy. Well, really, my level last day is not finished yet. I'm working. Oh, really? and, yeah. My working and day. I, my working day, Janira. Okay, teacher. My working day is not finished yet. I need to solve some uh, something for for tomorrow. Then uh, I'm. I'm here working. Okay, well, remember, Janita, that that's the way it goes. We have to work and work and sometimes work more. 
<laughs> yeah, teacher. Like you, like you. You are yeah. the reference. Yeah, well, I got a question and a specific question for you, the same as Marta. Would you mind explaining to us one activity that you performed today, but in detail, the process? Okay, in this day or in general? Today. Okay, um, for example, uh, when it's end of month, like today, uh, I need to synchronize the transaction. Then I begin review the email or check Reviewing, the email. No, checking the email. Okay, checking the email and look a problem for the transaction was reported in the email. Then uh -huh. I uh, select the different cases and give different um, instruction in the database for solve these cases. Then when I finish, I send email to another area for check this transaction. And if, if it's all okay, then um, I pass with another kind of transaction. But if this transaction was reported for AK, I need to open the, the code for this process and review what, and check what is the problem. Sometimes I need to make change in the database for solve these cases. For solving? This is solving these cases. Okay, look, look, look in the chat, please. For okay. solving, or you say to solve. Both are correct for solving or to solve, but you can okay, say for okay. solve. Okay. 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 For solving or to solve. Okay. Okay. And yeah, yeah. Continue, please, please. And let me check what more. When these cases is finished, I pass to another area. I check. Uh, are finished. Are finished. Are finished when yeah, you say you said cases, cases, plural. Okay. Where the cases are finished, I change to another area. I check cases for three areas. Okay. Interesting. Thank you very much, Anita. You yeah. were very specific. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's see, let's see, let's see who else is around. Hey, William, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, William. I hear your choice giving you problems. Yes, teacher. A little bit sick. I'm very sick. Okay, okay, William. In that case, in that case, my friend, don't worry, don't worry. You be quiet, pay attention, no problem, okay? I'll take you into an account. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. So, I mean, you can <coughs> practice and participate later, don't worry. Luego podrá participar cuando esté mejorcito, tranquilo, okay? Don't worry, pay attention, just listen, okay? Uh, he's having problems with the troll. That's understandable. Let's go for it. Simply. Let's see. Let's see. But I got more people here. Hey, Jency, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Jency. Um, I got a, I'm fine. I got a question for you. That Well, the same question that I'm making everybody. Please tell me one of the activities you did today. Explain it to me, please, in detail. Today, uh, today I worked in some, um, I, 
le, uh, papeles de trabajo, worksheets. Okay. Worksheets about um, auditing. I am auditing a um, uh, business company. And today I do some, I did some analyze and summarize about um, CIFRA. How do you say CIFRA? Appointments. Uh, sorry, what? Appointments. Appointments. Uh, no, CIFRAs. Oh, 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 cifras. Oh my gosh. You say numbers. No, some numbers. <laughs> uh, from January to June 2021. And actually, we are, now we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> but we are from, from the office. Desde la oficina. From the office. Okay, yes. From the office. Yes. Okay, let's see. You can say numbers or you can say figures. Figures. Yes, analyze analyze figures. I think sounds better. Analyze some figure uh, financial figures or number, financial yeah. number. Financial figures or financial numbers? Figures. Both of them are okay. Figures is very specific. Yeah, and to for to give some um, help about what about different round um, activities that they are doing in the process, and also at the end of the afternoon, I went to the gym, and later I went to a Birthday, birthday dinner. Really? And, uh, <laughs> what, what time did you get home? Now. <laughs> oh, you're just arriving home. Ah, yes. <laughs> so you went parrying. That's cool. Yeah. I, I, I arrived uh, five minutes ago. Oh my gosh, you just arrived. Yep. Oh. And that was my day. Well, the good thing is that you could make it on time for the class. That's excellent. That's yes. pretty excellent. Thank you very much. I appreciate okay, your teacher. participation. Thank you, Jensi. Hey, Marcela, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm just great. Just great. Here, you know, ready for another night of class. Tell me. What did you do today? Could you explain one of the activities that you did today in detail, please? Um, in the same case, like Gen Z, we are partners. Oh, yeah, you are, you are co-workers, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have um, like same activities, analyze. Analyze. Analyze the figures. 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 Um, yeah. X. Como, uh, what do you say? Casi lo mismo. Almost. How, same. how do you say? How, do, how you say? do you say? Almost the same. Almost the same. Yeah. Okay. So you've been quite busy today. What time did you finish working tonight? Uh, today, la uh, four, four, four half. Four and a half. Okay. What time did you get home? Uh, like six, six o'clock. Wow, one hour and a half to get home. Not susceptible. Yeah. Not that <laughs> much. So you have time to relax. Have dinner already, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Just get home, I take the dinner. That's nice, that's nice. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Marcela, and welcome to the class. Thank you, the chair. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Fabiola, how are you? Hi, the chair. 
I'm fine. Uh, okay, tell me what about you? What were your activities today? We do different activities. Every day we have a different rope. Um, go up on the rope. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm busy the customer. Um, take take a liquor order. A what? Take a liquor order. Liquor. Yes, I work in in. in Distribuidora Salvadoreña. Oh, really? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sell liquor. <laughs> okay. So uh, you sell hard drinks. Okay, tell me. What do you sell the most? What is the beverage, the spirit? What is the spirit you sell the most? Um, Uh, the sales, for example, whiskeys, for example, flat label. Okay, that's nice. Flat label, uh, tequila, Jose Cuervo. <laughs> um, I think. Uh -huh. Don Julio, uh, the, the brown, oh. no. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No, no. Ah, uh, ese no lo tenemos. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, y the Browns National, for example, <laughs> Petro. Okay. Troika. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a, how do you say variedad? Each? Variety. Uh -huh. I have a variety. What about wines? I don't understand. <laughs> what about wines? Vinos. Ah, yes. For example, um, partager. Oh. Cosecha. And the others. <laughs> Rioja. I like wines. Very <laughs> interesting. Very interesting, Fabiola. I didn't know that was your activity, your job. Thank you very much for sharing with us and welcome. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hi, teacher. How are you, mister? I'm fine, and you? I'm just fine, just fine. Thank you very much. And tell me, how was the day? Uh, it was really good. A little bit busy, busy, but everything's fine, I guess. Okay. Did you start already with the project? No. Tomorrow, we will have a meeting with the Cousin Science? of the client, yeah. Oh. So we will talk about how he will make the payment. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you are just uh, like, let me see, let me see. I wanna tell you, let's see how do you write that word. You are tying ends. That's that's how you say it, but I have never written the word tying ends. Hold on. Give me just a second. Ends. Okay. This is a modicum. And it means uh, nosotros decimos afinando detalles. Okay. Mm. 
and in English it will be tying ends. Okay. So you are just tying ends uh, with the project. That's cool. So that means that yeah. the heavy part, the heavy part is going to start soon. How long do you have a, a, a projected for the for the project to last? How long is it going to take for you to finish? It it will take about one month and a half. It's gonna be fast. Yeah, it's only a, a remodelación. Remodeling, yeah. Yeah, it's only a remodeling. But it's a little uh, great because he will change all the roof of the house, we'll paint all the walls. We will make a demolition of one part of the kitchen because she wants the garden to be bigger. That's interesting. Well, roofing is going to be very interesting. Let's hope the weather doesn't delay the work. Yeah, we are hoping that. Yeah, because that's the biggest problem when you are roofing. I mean, it starts to rain, you gotta stop. Yeah, but that, uh, the first thing that we're gonna do because after that, uh, we can make the change of the, the interior. Hello, falso, como se dice? Ceiling. Of the ceiling. Yeah, of the ceiling. Okay, what are you going to install? A chira? Sorry? For norm what are you going to start to install for the ceiling? Is it going to be chiro or are you going to work with the normal ceiling? It will be the normal ceiling. Okay, that's easier. Yeah, and faster than the yeah, chiro. Chiro takes yeah, chiro takes time because you have to make the whole structure first and fixing up little details, it takes long. Yeah. Ah, it's it's going to be interesting. So you're going to be busy, my friend. Yeah. The next That's look and half, hopefully. But maybe and hopefully the same client will make a ranch at the beach and we may we will make the construction. Oh, that's another contract. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Well, you gotta do a, a very good job in the first one so you can like hook the second one. Yeah, that's we are that's what we want. Yeah, I mean you gotta you gotta get the client and remember the the mouth to mouth uh Recommendation is always the best one. Yeah, we we think in that too. Yeah, because I mean, if the client is happy, I mean, that client is going to recommend you and that's the way it goes. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Well, nice talking to you, Daniel. Excellent, thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Let's see. Hey, Jose. Jose, you've been quiet lately. Come on, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. And I'm, I'm resting on my bed, teacher. And listen. Oh, that's me. cool. You are very comfortable tonight. I'm a little comfy, teacher. Okay, no, that's cool. That's cool. So you got some early today. Uh, around five. Uh, 5, 20, 25, but around. Okay, that's fine, because sometimes you get home late, right? Uh, hardly ever, teacher. Uh, uh, I usually get home at 5, 10 p.m. 
Okay, well, that's cool. So you've got time to relax, to take a shower, have dinner. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me oh, no dinner you. yet. No dinner yet. Oh, yes, I recently, I did the dinner. Okay, you say it like this, listen, mister. You say, I just, I just, I just had dinner. Remember, I just had dinner. That means, uh, acabo de. I just had, ah, uh, correct, sir, I understand. I get it. Okay, well, that's interesting, that's interesting. Tell me, Jose. I'm asking everybody to explain me one of the activities you perform this day. Please, I need you to tell me and to explain the details. Uh, today, uh, I did some additional activities because I was assigning more stuff than was planned for this week, teacher. Oh, really? Yes, uh, because because of that, I did a check for the mach machinery. 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 Oh, well, you say yes. equipment. 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 I did check of the equipment as necessary to cover the demand for the change that are coming, teacher. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, I did some reports that my boss need. Needed? Uh, needed. Needed. And, and update some, some reports and the process in record some process videos to represent them in training process for new personnel. Wow, you've been busy today, mister. Yes, I have a busy day teacher and update and efficiency and quality performance reports and other, and other necessary things of my position teacher. Well, that's good. It's always good to be busy. Yes. And, it, and it's always satisfying when you can do all your activities. Thank you very much, Jose. Interesting. Thank you, teacher. Hey guys, I need to get the attendance. I'm Barili Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you, Ambar, welcome. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martinez. Uh, present teacher Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Ajá, esa parte. Present teacher José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. María Alejandra. Y present. Thank you. <laughs> María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Thank you, María Luisa. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Arauco. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. Welcome. Well, William Giovanni teacher. Rosales Galvez. Oh, William is sick. Thank you, William. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. 
present it. Excellent. Wow. Well, I got full house. Perfect. That's great. Excellent, excellent. That means that we are going to have fun. Okay, Fernando. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Fernando. Oops, perhaps not here. Let's see, Roxana, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. What about you? I'm fine. Okay, cool. Tell me, Roxana. I'm asking everybody about one activity. One activity that you did today, but I want the detail, the full story, okay? I need you to explain everything. Okay. Uh, today, for example, I was checking the commission uh, system okay. because uh, in the morning i was uh, doing some changes in some policies about okay. uh, intermediaries inter intermed como sería intermediaries mm. or okay. uh, okay. supervisor like a supervisors so who uh, the person who administ uh, who is an um, um, administrador Administrator. administrator that uh, that policy for example so uh, in the morning i was uh, doing some uh, checking some uh, changes that i sent yesterday uh, because i i can change i can do uh, that changes at in the last those, day of those the those changes those changes those changes in the last of the month in the last day of the month so for me it was yesterday but today i need to check in the system commission in the commission system is the changes are synchro synchronizing synchronizing synchronizer and uh, i need uh, i have to verify if the um, commission percent is calculate the amount, the correct amount, and change and verify. Sorry, if the um, each line have to reference correct to some invoice and a business line, and if the. Um, a commission system uh, is reconociendo, is it showing, mostrando? No, recognizing. Recognizing uh, the correct uh, supervisor, the correct uh, intermediario, for example. And basically, the, my afternoon, it was very, uh, I was verifying that. Okay, I was verifying. I was verifying that um, database and the okay. other. Uh, the database, database. Database. Okay, now I got a word for you. Intermediario, it's intermediary. But in your case, uh, I gather from what you tell me, you are talking about a middleman. Yeah, yes, middleman. It's, it's a person who works by just for a commission. Yes, because uh, in my case, uh, that is like a external agent. Okay, yeah, they are they are a middleman. Yeah, so I I have some um, contact with uh, the client, but it there uh, it. It is very uh, weird because uh, all the time uh, the external agent, in this case, the middle middleman, is the middle. direct contact. Okay, listen to me. Middle, 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 like that. Middle middleman. 
Middle so name. Um, in my case, I have contact uh, all the time with a middleman and uh, they always are um, talking with the client. So it's very weird for me uh, talking with, with them. So uh, in my case, I, I check in my platform um, all, all things about middlemen. Okay, so that means that you are like a, like a, the reference person for the middlemen. Yeah. But you gotta deal with all of them. Well, with some of them. Yes. Okay, interesting, quite interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Hey, Nestor, how are you? Hello, teacher. Um, Hello, just Nestor. Fine. Tell me, what do you do, Nestor? Uh, right now, I... No, 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 no. I didn't ask you, what are you doing? I asked you, what do you do? Do you recognize this question? When I ask you, what do you do? I am asking about what, it, what do you do uh, for a job? What is your profession? What are your activities in your job, okay? What do you do? Like if you ask me, what do you do? I tell you, oh, I am an English teacher. So oh, okay. what do you do, Nestor? Ah, uh, import export manager. Oh yeah, you told me, you told me the other day about that. Please describe to me one activity that you did today. Uh, for example, today I sent some sample to Italy. Oh, really? Italy? Yeah. Italy. Italy. So, sorry, Italy. Okay. How do you do that? What process do you follow? Uh, for example, the first step is contacting the courier. In this case, is FedEx. And, okay. and they send me what is the, the step to follow to send this sample. For example, uh, I must to make an uh, invoice and okay. then I, I must prepare the, the product. For example, uh, the package in the box. Um, um, it's only that because I send them the invoice and uh, I must coordinate with them uh, the the time that they is come to my office, the pick up, the pick up, the patch. They will. They will come to my office. They will come to my office. Okay. And well, that's all. Thank you. Interesting. Now, look at this phrase in the chat that I put for you. They state okay. the steps for me to follow. That. That's the way to say it. Eh, ellos me dicen, ellos me explican, ellos me comunican. But as okay. they are part of a procedure, they got, they state, okay? When you say they state the steps for me to follow, I mean, you gotta follow uh, the order as they said it, okay? Okay. So be... Well, you can get that phrase, write it down, write it down. It's very important in your area. It's pretty important. Yes. Okay, because I mean, you can say, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. When we say state, we are saying declarar, expresar, or manifestar, yeah. In this case, that's what we are using, manifestar, okay? Yeah. That would be the, 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 the correct term. So they don't tell you, they state, because it's oh, a okay. formal procedure, okay? Okay, I understand. Thank, thank you, interesting, interesting. It's good when thank we get too. new vocabulary for everybody. That's great, thanks. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Hey, Francisco. Francisco Eduardo, hello. 
you're here with us. Perhaps having problems. What about you, Fernando? You back online? Hi, teacher. Sorry. Hello. How are you, my friend? Um, I'm fine, teacher. I'm fine. I'm still working. Yeah, the I'm closing fine. of the month. Yes. Okay. Well, we are talking about the jobs and the activities we perform and the procedures or the steps we follow. So, would you mind, Fernando, sharing with us, if it's possible, of course, uh, sharing with us what are you doing in this moment uh, related to your job? What procedure are you following? Which steps are you taking? Which activity are you performing? In this moment, I I do, uh, I undo, sorry. Bring. Sorry? I am doing. I am doing, okay. I, I am doing a task. Uh, not this, not this my task. This task is of my, my, my partner. You oh, remember yeah. that? You are covering, you are covering for a, cover for a co-worker. Yes, I remember. Yes. Uh, so the, this, this activity is about, about, about quality as assessment of well, apparels of apparels of software. Uh, oh. In our case, uh, we use uh, ERP, call it EBS. So it needs uh, improved or mejoras. Yeah, uh, updates uh, or improvements. Needs... Well, it depends. Actualizaciones will be updates. Mejoras will be improvements. You tell me which one is improvements. Oh, okay. in, improvements, improvement. So, um, uh, any any department or report for us, uh, they need some in, improvement, and we were we were we were from um, definirlo, defining. Uh, we were from defining to development and testing. Oh. And, and in my case now, <laughs> because my, my partner is absent, I tested the, this improvement. Okay. So uh, tomorrow we have a, a committee, committee or committee? Committee. A committee uh, for approval this, this change. Okay, and, so you are. I imagine that you are going to 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 place a, a a report. You are going to present a report tomorrow. To, uh, in this meeting, you are going to have. Yes, and we present this improvement in on a ticket, and this ticket uh, will last include our task. In my case, I include my task, my task of quality assessment and my task like administrator of this part in the future. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, just one word for you. Committee. 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 Okay. Committee. Okay. okay. Oh, thanks to okay, you. Thank Quite you. interesting. Quite interesting. Let's see. Yes. Who, who else is around? I still got time for some of you. Ambar. Well, Amber is not working, but Amber, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, I'm good. What about you? Ready, ready for tomorrow? Yes, I'm ready, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm just fine. Thank you very much. And tell me, Amber, uh, have you done something, anything special today? Uh, yes. Uh, today, I, I went to... But how do you say seguro? Social security. That's a given name. Seguro social. I went to Matfre. Oh, the insurance company. The the insurance company because. No, hold on, hold on. Insurance, insurance company, insurance. The insurance company because. 
I need to. I need it. I need it to. Reclamar, how do you say? Ooh. In this case, reclamar is complain, but you were not doing that. You were doing something else. Eh, well, well you ellos were, me llaman reclamaciones. Okay. Yes, yes. Look, you were making a claim. That's the expression in English for that specific activity. Para esa actividad específica que usted va a hacer, the expression, the proper expression in English is this, making a claim. Ah, okay. Eh, so sería... you went to make a claim. You went to make a claim I, to the I went to make to a insurance company. Claim. To insurance so, company. Perfect. Yes. Okay, no, well, that's good, that's good. Excellent. Yes, thank you, teacher. So that's money. Right. I need a lot of money. <laughs> I but, imagine, I imagine. You know yes. something funny? The other day I was checking my, my insurance policies and in one of them I found out that I could have applied for a for a claim for the days that I that I wasn't working and I didn't even know. So wow. I gotta read it, I gotta read them carefully next time. Yes, eh, because eh, eh, han, han sido bastante días. <laughs> yeah, imagine in my case it was like two months. Two months. Yeah. Oh. Do you have um insurance or secure well, social I, security? Well, I. I got, uh, let's see, I pay three different policies. Uh, one are, two of them are uh, life insurance and one is just for for the expenses for burial, if I die. Okay. And my, my employer uh, pays one for me, another one, an extra. Ah. Uh. Yeah, nice. so, yeah, no, they, they're going to be happy if I die. Okay. In, in my I, case, uh, my insurance, it's good. Uh, I use the insurance for my, so, uh, how do you say, cirugía? Surgery? Surgery. Oh, that's great. Excellent. Yes. That helps a lot. No, for for uh, medical appointments, I got uh, well, I got the one from the government. I got uh, bienestar ministerial. Uh, okay. So uh, I attend. I can attend different uh, hospitals. Like when I had when I had my accident, I went to hospital de diagnostico, and the insurance paid everything. They have a good attention attention in the hospital, the diagnostico. Yeah, acceptable. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yes. Well, thank you, Amber. Nice talking to thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Now let me explain something to you. Guys, I just see a little camera as well. Hello, Walter, Maria Luisa, Wilfredo. And let's see who else I didn't talk to. Carlos, I'm sorry, but there's not that much time for me now to continue like uh, like reading, but we are going to do activities where you are going to participate speaking. Well, if you notice today, I was asking everybody about the activities that you perform on a daily basis, but I was asking you to be specific and to explain to me the process, okay? Because today we are going to work with some little words that are going to help you to express those ideas on a better fashion, okay? On a better way. Like uh, we are going to be working with connectors. I was telling you yesterday, we are going to be working with words that connect some ideas with others, or they are also called uh, sequencers, okay? Because, oh, first I do this, then, 
after, afterwards, finally, to conclude, to finish. Those little words, they are adverbs, okay? And those adverbs help us to connect ideas. That way, when we are talking, if we learn how to use them properly, uh, our fluency is going to be better because it's going to help us explain the situations on a better fashion, as I was telling you. As an example, I could say, okay, let's see. Today, well, I have to teach. First, I have to teach uh, all morning. Well, not all morning. I was teaching from, let's see, 7 a.m. to 11.15. Then at around quarter to 12, I have to go to, to the hospital for my therapy. I am undergoing therapy for my hand. And I arrived to the hospital around 12.30, but before going to the therapy, I needed to make an appointment with the orthopedist. So I went to the office, I made the appointment, and then I went to the therapy area. In the therapy area, they took my car and, well, the process for my therapy was very interesting because first they apply ice, ice to my hand, uh, like for five, from five to 10 minutes, uh, I apply ice, I rub it all around my hand. Then they apply heat. So they put some things, I don't know the name of them, uh, very hot. Uh, we rub them on a, on a towel and we apply them here. And at the same time, before applying that, they put some little things here, some little paths here, because they give me some, uh, well, they are electro chucks. Afterwards, I had to make some exercises there, part of the therapy, like for 10 minutes, I do some exercises with the hand. And let's see, finally, the therapist uh, rubs my hand with another machine, I don't know the name of it, and I don't even know what it does, but they rub my hand with that machine. And to finish, uh, they just make uh, some movements and perhaps another short exercise. So usually that the therapy takes me like two hours every time I go. And then I came back home to get ready for my classes. So if you notice, I was telling you about my activities today, but I was using an expression first, after, then, before, finally, to finish, in the end, those words, those little connectors make the sentences flow in a smooth way, okay? And actually, you know, when we speak, we use them. When you speak on a daily basis, when you are telling something, you use them. When you are giving instructions, you use them. When you are working and when, like uh, Nestor, uh, she was tell he was telling me, sorry, Nestor, he was telling me that uh, they state the steps for that he needs to follow in order to, 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 to send a package, for example. So he knows that first he has to do this, then another step after he makes another step. And finally, so when we are speaking, we use them. Now we are going to work with them in English because it's very important that you practice them, that you get to know them. And the exercise is going to be a little bit interesting and a little bit long, so please bear with me. Uh, this presentation, I already have it on a PDF that I'm going to send to you at the end of the class, okay? But let me share with you the presentation we have prepared for you. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, that I, I just noticed there's something here.
Okay, just give me a second. Okie dokie. Let's see. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Sequencers. Okay, what are they? Sequencing. AKA, also known as, also known as AKA, también conocido como, also known as arranging a story in a particular order with the help of linking words. So, sequencing is using linking words, okay? As simple as that. Okay. I know that for some of you, perhaps this text is too long and, are, and perhaps depending on the, on the gadget you are using, it could be that one of you cannot see it clearly. So I'm going to So let's see, I'm going to take a picture or if anybody can take a screenshot and share it in the group, it's okay. That's if you don't get my screenshot quite clear, but I sent it to you, to the group already. And it says, a conference in Chicago. Let's see, last week, I visited Chicago to attend a business conference. While I was there, I decided to visit the Art Institute of Chicago. To start off, my flight was delayed. Next, the airline lost my luggage. So I had to wait for two hours at the airport while they tracked it down. Unexpectedly, the luggage have been set aside and forgotten. As soon as they found my luggage, I found a taxi and rolled into town. During the ride into town, the driver told me about his last visit to the Art Institute. After I had arrived safely, everything began to go smoothly. The business conference was very interesting and I Truly enjoy my visit to the Institute. Finally, I caught my flight back to Seattle. Luckily, everything went smoothly. I arrived home just in time to kiss my daughter goodnight. Okay, I will read again. A conference in Chicago. Last week, I visited Chicago to attend a business conference. While I was there, I decided to visit the Art Institute of Chicago. To start off, my flight was delayed. Next, the airline lost my luggage. So I had to wait for two hours at the airport while they tracked it down. Unexpectedly, the luggage had been set aside and forgotten. As soon as they found my luggage, I found a taxi and rolled into town. During the ride into town, the driver told me about his last visit to the Art Institute. After I had arrived safely, everything began to go smoothly. The business conference was very interesting and I truly enjoyed my visit to the Institute. Finally, I caught my, black, my flight back to Seattle. Luckily, I, everything went smoothly. I arrived home just in time to kiss my daughter good night. Okay, guys, questions about vocabulary? Uh, teacher, soon. Soon. Um, soon. Yes, as soon as they found oh, the. Tan pronto. Okay. Yeah, and luckily. 
afortunadamente. Teacher, what is the meaning for unexpectedly? Ooh, unexpectedly. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, well, how do I explain? I know the word, but unexpectedly um, es algo que no se esperaba. Okay. okay. Something that is not expected, algo que no se espera que uno no espera que suceda. That's what you call what you call unexpectedly. Okay. Uh, the most similar the most, to so, sorry. No, no, no. To be specific, to be specific would be this. Mm -hmm. Okay. You get it in the chat? Yes. Okay, that would be unexpectedly. But uh, oh. the thing is that we don't use that word in Spanish that much, that much mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's not part of our daily speaking. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's it's go more back. In, mm -hmm. But in English, is it makes complete sense. In that situation, in that uh, story, it makes complete sense and it's used. Just that, remember, we are, if you notice, this is formal English. Very mm -hmm. formally. And um, there is another word. Throw, throwly enjoyed Com my visit. Completely. I en completely. No, I completely. no, 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 no. no. I totally enjoyed. I yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, listen to me. I com And I completely enjoy my visit. And I completely and fully enjoy my visit. Um, okay. You get it? Yes. But how do uh, you pronounce that? Throwly. Okay. Now, now. I don't know if you will be able to look at me. To look at my... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your tongue goes... If this In the middle teeth, of the... Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh, but... Uh -huh. But... Uh, uh, Toshin... Casi tocando la parte de adelante de los dientes de arriba. And then backwards, throwly, throwly, throwly. Throwly. <laughs> oh, throwly. A little bit throwly. difficult? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know, I know that that word is not quite common, but mm -hmm. um, let, let's see if I can make it easier for you to pronounce mm -hmm. because I mean, there's always something uh, an easier way to to pronounce it. Yeah, because it's uh, thoroughly, thoroughly. The problem is that not even with the with the with the phonics I could explain it easy because the phonics for this word are this, and that thing sounds thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly. It's oh, here. Thoroughly. Thoroughly. Yes. Thoroughly. Thor yep. Yo la pronuncio como throwly. Like that? Throwly. Throwly. Yep. throwly. That's the way. Throwly. Okay. It, means, Thank you, it means completely. Significa completamente o a fondo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Another way to say it, but uh, again, it's not a word that we don't, it's another word that we don't use from quite much in Spanish. Uh, well, not all of us, but some of us use it. I don't see love some of us, no. Exhaustivamente. Completamente o a fondo. Okay. The, the most similar for us, for Salvadorians, would be completely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, any other question about the vocabulary? Yeah. This Come on, not... guys, it's the time. Just tell me. Smugly, please. Okay, which one? Suavemente. Oh, smoothly, smoothly. Yes, 
it means suavemente, but when you apply it to a situation, when you say, oh, everything went smoothly. Smoothly. No, de no decimos que, ah, no, todo pasó suavemente. It doesn't make that much sense. I mean, if you go to the exact meaning of the word, yes, it's suavemente. When you refer perhaps to surfaces, a uh, surface is smooth, una superficie es smooth, suave. When you apply it to a situation, eh, cuando lo aplicamos a una situación, the meaning change a little bit. And why? Because we are saying, eh, man, Again, that's an expression that makes completely sense for me in English, but in Spanish, I mean, we don't have a specific word for that in Spanish. No tenemos una palabra que exprese completamente la idea. Because, uh, okay, let's see. Like this class, okay? I prepare an activity and everybody performs the activity. And there's no question, everybody participates and everybody's happy and, and realize all the activities quite good. So my boss comes and asks me, hey Douglas, how did, I, did the activity go? And I tell her, oh, everything went smoothly. Explico nuevamente en español. Eh, en el caso de esta palabra, la idea que está transmitiendo en ese caso específico no tenemos un equivalente tan exacto nosotros. Un ejemplo sería este, pongo una actividad, la planeo, la ejecuto, todos participaron, no hubieron problemas, es más, no hubieron ni preguntas, todos participaron, todo el mundo contento, todo el mundo feliz. Viene mi jefe el siguiente día y me pregunta, hey, ¿cómo fue la actividad? Y yo le digo, oh, it went, everything went smoothly. You get my idea? No sé si se capta la idea. De acuerdo al esperado. Could be. Any other question, guys? Is very uh, relaxed, for example. E hey. Other other word relax is similarly with the smoothly. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Podría ser. That would be another expression, another way to say it. Or if you can say, uh, fue sin problemas. Okay. How was the activity? Oh, it went smoothly. Fue sin ningún problema. That's the idea. That's the specific idea. Esa es la idea específica. So in the text, let me share with you. In the text, we were saying, uh, 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 okay, uh, uh, okay, everything began to go smoothly. Todo comenzó a ir sin ningún problema. Any other question, guys? Okay, let's continue. Okay, when you begin your story, when you are beginning to, to say something, you say, okay, first of all, first of all, to start off with, or to start with, you can erase off, you can say just to start with, initially, to begin with, these four expressions, they express almost the same idea. Because we can say, to begin with, I began my education in London. First of all, I opened the cupboard. To start off with, we decided our destination was New York. Initially, I thought it was a bad idea. You can say, to start with, I thought it was a bad idea, okay? These are expressions we use to, to start a story when we are going to express, to explain something. Questions here?
Okay. Now, when you continue the story, the second part of the story, okay, you use then, after that, next, as soon as, we can use when, and then use a full close, but then immediately, and let's check the examples. Then I started to get worried. After that, we knew that there will be no problem. Next, we decided on our strategy. As soon as we arrived, we unpack, unpacked our bags. We were sure everything was ready, but then we discovered some unexpected problems. Immediately, I telephoned my friend Tom, or you can say, I called my friend Tom. Questions about the vocabulary here? Uh, yes. Uh, desempacamos. Unpacked. Unpacked. Desempacar maletas. Yep. Thank you, sir. No problem. Okay. Now, sometimes we interrupt the story in order to add new elements. That's when we use these expressions and they add suspense to the story. Suddenly, unexpectedly. An example will be, suddenly a child bursts into the room with a note for Mrs. Smith. Unexpectedly, the people in the room didn't agree with the mayor. Now we got Events occurring at the same time. Oops, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, my bad. I need to get attendance. Sorry, I'm going to make a pause in order to get the attendance. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo. Present, teacher. Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Vendaño Pineda. Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Thank you, Shanira. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue. Okay. We got events occurring at the same time. At the same time, we are speaking, okay? While, mientras, durante, we can use as plus subject plus verb. Don't worry about this. While I was giving the presentation, a member of the audience 
asked an interesting question. Jennifer told her story as I prepare dinner. The construction for using during in a sentence is during plus none. An example would be, during the meeting, Jack came over and asked me a few questions. We explored a number of approaches during the presentation. Okay. That means that we did something while well, something else happened. Decíamos algo mientras algo más pasaba, okay? That's the idea. And now to end the story, we say, finally, in the end, eventually, Examples of using these ending words in a story include, finally, I flew to London for my meeting with Jack. In the end, he decided to postpone the project. Eventually, we became tired and returned home. Okay, guys, now our beautiful activity. If it's possible for you, please, get a screenshot of this image because you are going to use it, okay? Si le es posible, tomenle una screenshot. Because we are going to work with it. Yeah, and screenshot would be better because my picture didn't work properly. So if any one of you took the screenshot and could share it. I'm having problems with my camera. Okay, teacher, I do it. Oh, thank you, mister. Appreciate it. Let me know when it's ready. Let's see, Roxana got one. Oh yeah, it's quite clear. Excellent. You got another one, it would be better. Okay guys, now what's the activity? You have to provide an appropriate sequencing word to fill in the blanks. Oh, thank you, Fernando. Yes, the same as Roxana, quite clear. You can check it slowly. Okay, we, we have to provide an appropriate sequencing word to fill in the blanks. Then answer the following quiz. Okay, my friend and I visited Rome last summer. Number one, what would be for number one? Please. First will be an option. Another one. Thank you, Carlos. Another one. Initially. First of all. First of all. Okay. So in this case, there are different options. Okay. There are different options. And you are going to work in groups in order to decide which is the correct option for each one. Remember, not necessarily uh, all the groups are going to get the, the, the same sequence and don't worry. At the end, I will explain you why. Because in the first one, for number one, you could have said, first of all, to start with, initially, to begin with, all four of them are correct for number one. Okay, so don't you worry if you are not like quite uh, sure about them, okay? And besides, you are going to be working in groups, so it's going to be easier for you. Let's see, that who's gone? Missing somebody, but I don't remember who. Okay, let's see. Let me create the groups. Groups are created right now. 
just let me check on something. Just a little moment, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, groups are created. Guys, you're going to have 10 minutes in order to get the vocabulary. Please write down. Just write number one and you write the word you are going to use it. Let's do it. How are you? Martha. Right, thank you. Martha. Hi, teacher. Can you stay tonight with me for a few minutes after the class? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. If it's possible for you to share it, for one of you to share the image, it would be better. Okay. Okay, teacher. In the group? Yes. <laughs> uh, I choose the different words to the complete the... That's you, Maria. Uh, no, teacher. <laughs> oh. I think that... <laughs> puberty, that's puberty. What is that? Puberty. Puberty is what just hit Maria Alejandra. Es lo que le acaba de pasar a Maria Alejandra. Tomorrow she's going to be like, hello guys, how are you? <laughs> a very deep voice. Uh, okay, I, I understand. Roxana, if it's possible for you to share the image, uh, are you working on a phone or on a computer? I'm working in a phone now. Oh. Uh, but you guys, the image, guys, in the image, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. For me, the first one is. Hello. Okay, the number one. My friend and I visited from last summer. First, we flew from New York to Rome in first class. It was fantastic. After that, we are here in Rome. We, we are. Number one is first. Yes. Number two, the turn room is first. It was fantastic. After that, we'll, that, after that, number two, after that. Yeah. After that. Number three, three, three. We in the room. We, we were. Ding, 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 ding. ¿Dónde están las palabras que yo me usa? Ah, de la, le de la lectura anterior, ¿verdad? After as soon as, when, immediately, then, after that, next, suddenly, yes. unexpectedly. No, it's crime day. Number three. Number yes. three. We. Está pronto. Afortunadamente. We went to the hotel. Then, number three. No, or no. 
Immediately. Ah, immediately. Number three. Immediately. immediately. Number four. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, teacher. You having problems with the image? Well, I, I just work, teacher. I'm sorry, I, I listen to the class, but I can't to. to my no desk. problem, no problem. So, Nestor, are you solving the exercise? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Remember, I'll give you one. Number three is immediately. Immediately. Oh, yeah, Walter is sharing the image. Great. <laughs> Number three. And the number one I think so is the Pyrosol. We don't sew. After? Number three, immediately. Immediately. Okay. Yes. After, I. Three. Immediately. Uh, okay. In me, the number three. This was by beginning your story. The second steps continue the story. Events occurring at the same time, ending the story. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Number? Check your WhatsApp. Yes, I received your message. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Check the image and... and the, there are the words uh, can be used to the activity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a sequence in quiz. Uh, the first word that, that we use, my friends and I visited the room, room last summer. So they are uh, first uh, of all. First, of first of all. number. Uh, and the worst number, words, excuse me, word number one. Okay, guys. Maybe. First of all, to start off with, initially, to begin with. Uh, guys, initially number three. To begin. Number three, I'm going to give you number three. Okay, number three is immediately. Immediately. Mm -hmm. Number three, immediately. Yep. No, porque can be. Um, I had the, I had the other the other example, the previous example, as soon as doing uh -huh. after. after. That's cool. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> no, no le tome toda la presentación. <laughs> this guy is smart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think no Fernando was expecting the exercise. <laughs> yes. right. um, don't worry. And after... don't worry. At the end, I'm going to give you to give you all the answers. And you're going to have the them answer. so you can check them later. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, don't then, worry right now. then we become. Then, yeah, then. I think. And almost hit me. Suddenly. 
Suddenly. Suddenly. Suddenly. Suddenly. Like, yep, like oh. that. Yeah, almost. Suddenly. Okay. Suddenly. When I when I use that word, I I remember the uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan he Poe. Used, yeah, because in the the crow. In, yeah, he used a lot that word in his histories, his stories. Stories. His stories. Histories. Stories. No, stories. A stories. Yep. Mm -hmm. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, I used to read Edgar Allan Poe a lot when I was young. <laughs> I love, I love Edgar Allan Poe. My favorite is the well. I got different. Uh, El enigmático Mr. What? Even though my favorite is the La Caída de la Casa de Usher, that's my favorite. I don't remember the name of the story. And it's, it's, let's it's see true. another one that I love of his. Mm. It's her. Oh, the Sensual Maelstrom. That's awesome. Mm, interesting. I'm yeah. looking for that. Yeah, check them out. I was like 13 when I read that. I was young. Ooh. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> Gosh. Like 27 years ago, 28 years ago. That's a much. Yeah. Mm. Alive. Mm. Hmm. Finish? No. no. <laughs> we are in the sixth world. Okay, you can ask the guy here. Next. 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 Maybe we use next. Next. <laughs> My friends. <laughs> My friend in busy room last summer. First, we flew home. I was fantastic. After that, we are real in room. Next. Seven. On the main to exploring room. From me. And E E E Yes X, X. E. E. e E E E C C C E E E E L Y. L Y. Okay. Uh, sorry. In, um, You're missing after a After the after the before the uh, e after the e. Yes. Write the d. E. No, in the yes, it's correct. Yeah, d. D. d like yeah, d, d like in Douglas. Yes. D L Y. And okay. speckle. Okay. Unexpectedly. Oh, finally. In the end. In the end. In the end, maybe. In, in. Excuse me. No, no, just remembering a song from Linkin Park. Linkin Park, Linkin Park. Of the album Ivory Theory Teacher. Yeah. But in the end, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. It's a great new metal song. 
Yeah, that's cool. How is it going? You finishing? Mm. <laughs> no. No. One night in the the eight is during no. Oh. Number. Number eight. eight. Number eight. While as. While I was getting some ice cream. Yeah, or you can say as I was getting some ice cream. As. As. Yeah, remember. As well, I was. You can you can use also during. During. No but, during. But remember, sometimes I mean. During, while, and as are used to express that something was happening at the same time. But sometimes, if you listen to it, if you say it out loud, it doesn't make sense. It sounds weird. This is un poquito raro, right? So, in this mm -hmm. case, we are talking about number eight, right? Yes. Yes, let's see. Number. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry guys, but my computer is setting up. Yeah, you say while or as. Okay. And I choose as. I like that. As. Are you agree, Amber? And yes. Agree. Okay, eight as in number Teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, guys. Yes, Mr. Teacher. Uh, in Spanish, we hit the clubs. What is mean? Ooh, we hit the clock. Uh huh. We hit the wow. clock. Yeah, that's that's a modism. Ese es un modismo. When you say uh, when you say we hit the clock, it will sounds weird because it will mean that uh, estamos golpeando un reloj. But in this case, when we say we hit the clock, what we are saying is like mm, Uh, how can I say it? How can I say it? That is the reason because I I asked you. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, 
Imagine that we are taking the time. Uh, estamos usando un cronómetro. And I say, okay, guys, we hit the clock. Detenemos el cronómetro. El tiempo se terminó. Okay? That would be the idea. We hit the clock. Detuvimos el tiempo. O el tiempo se terminó. The time allotted to an activity is finished. You say, we hit the clock. Hasta que cerraron, por ejemplo. Yeah. So, okay. would you mind, would you mind, give me, uh, give me the context you were using? Where did uh, you get it? In the, in the exercise. The exercise say, uh, at night, we hit the clocks and wander in the street. Oh, yeah. No, we are clock, clubs. We hit the clubs. Sorry, mister, I heard you hit the clock. Ah, no, the clubs. Oh, no, when we say we hit the clubs, it means uh, we went clubbing. Uh, también se puede decir we went clubbing. No fuimos de club en club. O de bar en bar. Como recorrer los clubes. ¿Sí? Recorrimos los clubes. Recorrimos los bares. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you, you had me like looking for to explain something that was quite weird. Perdón que no le escuché bien y yo les estaba explicando algo que sí existe, pero que es un poquito difícil de, de explicar. Teacher. We hit the clock, like in the clock Sorry, time. My, my English needs, needs to improve. <laughs> no, no, no. Perhaps my hearing. Yes, Roxana. And from the, bueno, yo también escuché clock. <laughs> uh, in this case, we we can use that um, expression similar to over over time. Height Which? clock. Similar to over time. Hit the clock. No. Hit the clock. Clock. No. Hit the clock means uh, detener el tiempo. Pero el tiempo, el cronómetro. Oh, okay. That's okay. hit the clock. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. How did the activity go? Let's see. I want to hear impressions. Ambar, tell me, how did you feel the activity? Ambar, you here with me? Hello. Hello. How did it go? Can you repeat me question, the question, please? I'm sorry. How did you feel the activity? ¿Cómo le fue con la actividad? ¿Cómo la sentí? Um, I think good uh, the first one. Give me one second, please. Okay, now look at my screen. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My bad. Okay, guys, the story goes like this. In number one, you can say, if you listen, you can say it like this. Uh, my friend and I visited Rome last summer. First of all, to start with, initially, to begin with, we flew from New York to Rome in first class. It was fantastic. As soon as or when we arrived in Rome, we immediately went to the hotel and took a long nap. Then after that or next, we went out to find a great restaurant for dinner. Suddenly, 
or in unexpectedly, a scooter appeared out of nowhere and almost hit me. The rest of the trip had no surprises. Then, after that, or next, we began to explore Rome. During the afternoons, we visited ruins and museums. At night, we hit the clubs and wandered the streets. One night, while or as I was getting some ice cream, I saw an old friend from high school. Imagine that. Finally, in the end or eventually, we caught our flight back to New York. We were happy and ready to begin work again. Now, I know that the story was kind of a heavy, right? In vocabulary, in length, in vocabulario, in largo. But the objective of this was for you to remember something. In most of these situations, connectors, it's very important that you know the words. Then that you, when you know them with the pass of time and with practice, they are going to come to become something natural for you. Se van a volver algo natural para usted. Okay? Now, for tomorrow, you got an extra homework, guys. And we are going to start our class tomorrow with that homework. Okay. I need you to prepare a short story, short, and I mean like five sentences plus, tops, okay? A short story about a situation that you experience, okay? Any given situation. Let me text you the exact instructions, okay? The activity is this. Prepare a short story. Remember, five sentences, tops, maximum, five sentences, okay? Any given situation. Esa es la historia que a ustedes se les cualquiera de ellas, la que recuerden. Any given situation. And use at least two sequences. You got the instructions? I'm asking because I just got in the screen. I just have like four persons here, five to be exact. Are the instructions clear? Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes. Thank you very much. Today's activity. Okay, teacher. Uh, thank Fine. you very much. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Francisco. Thumbs up. I get it. Okay. Today's activity was focused on the idea that uh, you try to become more intuitive. With some of these expressions, that's what happens. You become more intuitive. And it's not about overanalyzing, which is the correct. You just read and feel. Okay. That's something that will come to you pretty soon. You are like, Almost some of you are already there and some of you are one step to get there. I will switch into Spanish just to explain a little something. Voy a cambiar al español solo para explicarle un detallito. Eh, el ejercicio de ahora puede ser que lo hayan sentido un poquito raro o largo o difícil. El objetivo de ese ejercicio es que entendamos algo. Algunos de ustedes ya están en el punto y otros están por dar ese paso en el cual este tipo de vocabulario, el ubicarlo dentro de una oración, se vuelve un ejercicio intuitivo. ¿A qué me refiero con esto? 
a que algunos de ustedes leen la oración, la leen en voz alta con una de las palabras y dice, sí, aplica. O a veces usted la lee en voz alta y en la palabra dice, ah, ah, it doesn't make sense. No me suena bien, decimos nosotros. ¿Ok? Some of you are already there. Algunos de ustedes ya están en ese punto. And, of course, you know which of you are. And some of you are like almost there. Y el resto estarán ahí cerquita de llegar. That's because you are already thinking in English. Ya están pensando en inglés. Of course, uh, the vocabulary that you were faced with today was not easy. El vocabulario que les puse ahora no era fácil. But uh, you need to start getting used to it because uh, as I told you at the beginning, this is intermediate. So we are going to stop using the, the every single day vocabulary, the simple words. We need to, to increase our vocabulary and to see, to use the vocabulary in different situations, okay? That's the objective of this. I'm sorry if you felt it today like quite strong. Discúlpenme si este día lo sintieron muy fuerte el ejercicio. But it's necessary for you to start like, for me to start like pushing you more. Necesario que lo comience a presionar más. And that's why I face you today with this. Don't worry. Tampoco se me preocupen ni se me desanimen. Diga usted, ah, no entendí nada. Estoy mal. No. It's normal. The exercise, I mean, you are here, guys, and I, I gave you an exercise that is like right here. Le puse un ejercicio que está así de arriba. Okay? But that's the goal. Es la meta. We need to take that step, and we will. Y lo lograremos. I mean, we are not even in the middle of the course. No estamos ni en la mitad del curso. So, don't worry. Don't feel sad. Don't feel like, oh, man, this is heavy. No me sientan que esto estará muy pesado. Because it's not. It's just that. I need to start pushing you and I will. We will go step by step. Today, as soon as the class finishes, ahora tan pronto termine la clase, I will send you the, the presentation so you can check it out with the answers, con las respuestas. And that will give you an idea of what to do for the homework. Eso le va a dar una idea de qué hacer para el homework. And you will see that tomorrow for you to explain this is going to be easy. Any question, any comments, algún comentario? No? The homework is similar uh, to activity. The past activity is similar. Yeah but, yeah, but just five sentences, okay? I mean, I don't want a, a whole story. No les pido un ensayo. I haven't prepared you for writing that. No lo he preparado para eso. In the advanced levels, you will do that. En los niveles avanzados lo van a hacer. Of course, that's way ahead. Eso está un poco más adelante. Don't worry, you will be prepared when you get there. No me preocupen que cuando lleguen a ese punto, it's going to be easy for you, okay? But I want you to get there with the most vocabulary, as much vocabulary as possible. Let me get the attendance before we jump to next activity. Antes de que pasemos a otra actividad por cuestiones de tiempo, let me get the attendance, guys. Uh, Amber Eli Alfaro. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Hello, yeah. guys. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Torpeño. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Héctor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. 
Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Susana. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present, teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Perfect. Now let me continue, guys. Where was I? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me continue on because we still got a few minutes. And something else you can check out also in your, in your manual. It's easier. So no, no, let's press it. A little bit and very soft. What we were working with today. And that's in page number 20. You got how to use Albert's and transition exp expressions. Remember, that's in page number 20. And it says there, look at these examples in the box that complete the exercise below procedures. Transition words are used to connect phrases or sentences. They express sequence and progress from one idea to the next. When these words are used at the beginning of a sentence, they are followed by the comma. First, first you have to give options to the customer. After that, you have to take the payment or afterward. You have to take the payment. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a call. Okay, some people say after that or they say afterwards. Eh, después que? Afterwards. It's the same as after that. Después que? Después que, but this is the most correct for expressing. Después que, the most correct word is afterwards, okay? This is the most appropriate one. You can use after that, yes. Is it accepted? Yes. A lot of people use it, yes. But the correct, correct word is afterwards. When we want to say después que, afterwards. Or also, afterward means más adelante. Okay, guys. Any question about today's class? Preguntas? Profe, oh, okay. este, la, yes. la, la tarea que nos está dejando ahorita la vamos a, a entregar al WhatsApp, al grupo WhatsApp. No, you're going to tell the story tomorrow here in class. Me van a decir ah, la historia mañana aquí en la clase. Ah, ok. Y, y fíjate que yo quería entrar a la, de, a la de la plataforma, pero no sé a dónde, porque la quiero hacer, pero no he podido entrar. Okay. O sea, sí entro a la plataforma, pero no sé cómo. Si quiere mañana le escribo en la mañana y yo le digo para poder encontrarla dónde está. El, no sé si está en, en curso, pero que yo lo hago desde mi teléfono. Oh, yes. Eh, Recuérdeme mañana porque lo haré desde mi teléfono. Usually I wow. check it out here. Okay. I'll okay. And I'll give you the steps. Yo le daré los pasos. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. Again, please. Nuevamente el recordatorio. Tranquilos. Esto vamos a ir paso a paso. Sé que se siente un poquito duro y pesadito el ejercicio. Don't worry. We are going to overcome this step. Lo vamos a superar. Thank you very much. Bear with me, guys. Aguanten un poquito más. Thank you. Have a good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Oh, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Have a good night. 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 Bye. Good night, everybody.
Hello, Marta. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good, and you? Just fine, just fine. Are you tired? Not that much, really. Me? Really? No, it's normal. It's normal. I mean. How? How? Yes. Many. How many class do you do in the day? Uh, let me see. On an average day, um, five, ten hours, teaching hours. Yes. You mean? Hours. Ten, twelve. Around 12. What? <laughs> yeah, around 12. Teacher. <laughs> Do you wore more hours? Oh, but yeah, but remember something. Teaching hours are not 60 minutes, hours. Okay. Teaching hours okay. are 45 For, minutes. 45. Okay. Yes. 45. Yes. But it's is long time. Yeah, sometimes actually, sometimes I teach more. Sometimes I teach like 12, uh, like 14, some days. Oh my God. It's very hard. Yeah, but you get used to it. Se acostumbra uno. Okay. Okay, and tell me, Marta, I want your opinion. How did you, how did you feel this class? It's okay, teacher. It's, it's, it's very difficult because many words, uh, I don't know what's the meaning, but it's, it's interesting, the activity, because uh, the grammar and write is is very important, but um, I I want to uh, learn more vocabulary and speak more fluency. Fluently, it's fluently, fluently. So it's it's good each class because I feel we learn more every day. Okay, right now I am asking some of your classmates. I Sometimes I do that. Perhaps one of these days you're going to get a message from me. Uh, sometimes I ask some of you, how do you feel the class? How do you feel the exercises? Everything was okay, something like that. And that's why I'm, I'm asking you because uh, I mean, from perhaps from one or two weeks ago, uh, today's class, yesterday's actually yesterday's and today's, you can feel like we have make a big leap. Yes, yes. It's, it's... It's very important practice because it's the uh, permitted teacher from allows allow um, the experience is is more natural. Yeah, it's a little bit hard and uh, right now, but as I was telling you guys. I mean, uh, we need to make that jump because that's what I want to, for it to become natural for you. Yes. And it's hard. And sometimes I have to yes, be very careful because hard. some of you get like, tampoco quiero que algunos se me sientan como, wow, qué presión, qué difícil. Yes, it's hard uh, for me. Sometimes it's difficult um, 
say the the word the verbs correct because I confuse, for example, uh, when you uh, do make make or when I use uh, say or tell or someone or somebody it, it's be it's very confused for me sometimes. Yeah, well, remember something very important is that you need to actually use them, apply them. Okay. That's practice. the only way that they are going to, yeah, practicing. Practicing is the only way that they will become natural for you. And remember when, if you are talking about vocabulary, uh, remember something. A vocabulary we find a lot here. You got here, right? Yes, yes. Okay, if you come down here, Centro de Ayuda. Okay. Remember, this is the English Corporativo platform. You come down and you get down to Recursos Académicos. You got grammar. Basic grammar presentations, intermediate grammar presentations, advanced grammar presentations, okay? Okay. Uh, like right now we are in intermediate. You come down and you can check. Look, past progressive. Okay. And all the topics you can see there. Okay, it's very, very, very um, important. Yeah. Dedicate also, more, more time for, for learning in platform. For learning. Look, for learning. You got you got pronunciation, you got vocabulary. This one is beautiful. Esta sección de vocabulary is it's extensive. Yes, you can okay. you can see here. Look, we got everyday activities, personal care products, household cleaning and laundry, outside the home, the apartment building, housing utility services, gardening, and look, you got a bunch. Yes, teacher. Really, so I, 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 I need uh, a study in this page. Yeah. And I mean, check it out. I mean, the, these guys at the, at the company, they prepare a lot. This, this platform is the English Corporativo teacher? Yes, English Corporativo ah, okay. platform. OK. Thank you, teacher. Really, really, I need to more study this platform. Yeah, and you will see that. I mean, uh, and if you got any question, please ask me. Don't hesitate. No do it. Which it is um, for for studying this platform uh, is uh, one one topic or grammar or convenient how how is the weather for for the study uh, what you mean the the best way to study yes the okay. method? first first get vocabulary first get vocabulary okay because i mean you can learn the rules, the grammar rules, but if you don't have the vocabulary, I mean, you are going to be still like, in, you are going to be working in a very short space. And I mean, if you have a lot of vocabulary and then you get grammar, it's going to be easy because you will feel More like option. grammar. Yes, you will feel like if grammar opens the language for you, but that's okay. if you have the vocabulary. If you okay. focus just on the grammar first, it won't work. It's the first step. Yes. Si estás enfocado solo en la gramática, no le vas a entender. Funciona. ¿Por qué? Porque va, va a estar encajonada en las poquitas palabras que ella maneja, aunque yes. conozca distintas ideas, distintas maneras de expresar las ideas por medio de la gramática. Entonces, ¿qué necesitamos? Primero, mucho vocabulario. Cuando tenemos mucho vocabulario y luego 
captamos la gramática, sentimos que se nos abre el lenguaje. Ok. So, okay. That's, that's what I could recommend you to do. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Well, Marta. I it appreciate was a pleasure for your me. <laughs> advice. Thank you, teacher. Oh, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure for me. It was nice having you here today in the class. And please, if there's any comment, don't hesitate. You can text me, you can call me, you can send me a message. That's okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your help for me. No problem, no problem. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Okay, have a good night, teacher. Okay. Well, the time allowed for this class is finished.